In Jesus' name. We do pray in the name of Amen. Amen. You, you can help me and welcome your name. Tell your name of In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're most welcome in the presence of the Lord. Today, you'll come with your testimony. Amen. Amen. You can take up your seats. I'm gonna teach them with I'm gonna this. All the visitors you can wave, wave to us. Wow, you're most welcome. Wow, that's the Roger Carol. I missed you all. You're most welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh Last week or this week, uh -huh. let me say this week, uh -huh. yeah, it has been a good week. Uh -huh. The grace of God was sufficient. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Those were this uh, radio program. Uh -huh. We appreciate you. Uh -huh. How many were listening? Uh -huh. radio program. Uh -huh. Wow, just love for yourself. Wow. Every day, always speak a someone about your life. It is for the sake of your peace. Hallelujah. Last Sunday, last Friday, we also had prayer mountain. We thank God for those who were there. We have the prayer mountain. Hallelujah. What did we talk about last time? To you, what did you learn? I've learned in the book of First Peter. I did not say read for me the notes. What did you learn? What is inside of you right now? What you remember? That there is. No prophecy that comes from man. Mm. Mm. You have a very big problem. What What's the another one? What did you learn? Uh, the topic was the manifestation of God. You never understand, but I learned that allow God to manifest what seeks in you, and every second one. That was last Sunday. You're wrong. That's what this day. Something, uh, you remember anything when is this also have a right revelation about yourself. Clap for him. The hands are there, Mr. Titus. Minister L is here. Yes. I learned that when you are serving God without a revelation, you will not get any reward. There's no reward for those who serve God without revelation. May someone here, Papa? Yeah. I, I learned that to, you need to be a you need you need to be a, a woman of revelation or a man of revelation so that you will be rewarded according to your request. Wow, hallelujah. Amen. Today, people always have a tendency of having a wrong revelation about others. Tell that neighbor that even when you're sitting like this, there is somebody somewhere who has a bad revelation about you. Yeah. 
There is someone already somewhere. Is even thinking that you are a very bad person. There is even someone or something thinking you be with the children. They even think that you are a bad person. They have a bad revelation. And salvation is to bring maturity in our understanding. The moment you grow to a level, in a time you see someone, you see God. You're mature. Hallelujah. I can associate with everybody. There's talking and association. I can, I can associate with everybody. Drunkards, thieves, failures, poor people, rich people. I can associate with all of them. Even with the witch doctor, I can associate with them. Sit with them in the same house. And we laugh together, but we have boundaries. Why? Every time I see people, I see the creation of God. Every time I see people, there is something good about those people. That's why God has allowed them to be created. I pray that may God give you his mind. So that you receive people the way God sees. Amen. Where do we get followers from? Annoyance. Bad revelation. If you remove every bad revelation about anybody, you will have peace with everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You have enemies? I have also enemies. But I don't have any. Because I don't have any revelation about them. It is them who can how become you can call me their enemy depending on their revelation that they have towards amen. hallelujah hallelujah amen have a good revelation the bible says if it is possible with you live at peace with everything. In your life. We know it's not possible. But it depends on you. Which revelation are you developing? Hallelujah. As I, when I grew up, my tears were always very close. When I grew up, my tears were so close. When I see something that is hurting, it is easy to cry. The, the times I was just watching a, a movie, just a movie, and I was seeing a story and it made me to shed tears so bitterly. I bless myself in those shoes. I like my own And I saw what qualifies you to be a prophet. Are you ready to represent God and to represent people? Hi. 
Have you finished? These ones are playing. Have you finished? So today we're going to have Holy Communion. And make sure you be very attentive to what I'm going to say. Uh, do everyone eat Holy Communion? Yes and no. Hallelujah. So Holy Communion. Holy Communion, you can the Mesa. We call it the Lord's Supper. Lord's Supper. Lord's Supper. Hallelujah. So, and we take it every first month, uh, first Sunday of the month. Hallelujah. Holy Communion. Holy Communion consists of two things. The bread and the wine. The body, all the flesh, the flesh, all the body, and the blood. The body represents the word of God. And the wine or the blood represents the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord commanded us. We should do that always in memory of Him. Hallelujah. When we practice Holy Communion, we are believing that He died. And we are believing that He rose again. And when he rose again, by his grace, and by his troops, we are made healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what makes Holy Communion very powerful and effective is the revelation. If you take Holy Communion because you are hungry, or you want to see how does it look, you're sinning. You have a revelation of food. There you're sinning. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. By his blood, we are washed. You open for us first John chapter 1 verse 7. First John chapter 1 verse 7. If we say we have fellowship with Jesus, and we walk in the light. The Bible says, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light. We have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So you need to believe that when you're going to take this Holy Communion, the blood, which is the wine, is going to cleanse you from every unrighteousness. There are some times Amen. when you pray and you feel God has not forgiven of you. Believe in the Holy Communion. Believe in His blood. That now, as we are going to we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his, his son cleanses us from all not from some sins from all from all sins that microphone hallelujah hallelujah from all sins. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53 verse 5. The reason why Jesus came. What did he do? He was wounded for our 
transgression. Transgression. Transgressions. Transgressions are sins that are beyond sins. A transgression is a sin that you don't feel like talking in public even. Hallelujah. Transgressions. That he was bruised for our iniquities. Iniquities are another type of sins. Hallelujah. Especially sins of the mouse. This one of transgression includes murder. Terrible sins. They say he was wounded for our transgressions too. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his traps we are healed. Amen. Hallelujah. When you're going to partake Holy Communion, you know a body get the porto has eyes. The porto has ears. has mouth. The body has blood. So you need to believe that as you're going to eat the body of Christ, Jesus, anything that has a problem within your body, God must rectify it. God must rectify it. You can be this building. At you touch. Don't eat yet. You can eat it. 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 Also suffered once for sins. They just, they just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he also suffered once. For us, for our sins. But they just for the unjust. He became sin. He was. He was not a criminal. He was a criminal. That he might bring us to God. Only way. For God to bring his people back was to come through a man. Being put to death in the flesh, but made alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. Chapter 20. Ch uh, First Corinthians chapter 11. First Corinthians chapter 11. From verse 20, 26 to 28. 26 to 28. Therefore, when you come together in one place, like the way we have come, make sure when you're receiving, I want your attention. Don't put your focus on receiving. Therefore, when you come together in one place, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper only. Uh -huh. For in eating, each one takes his own supper. And one is hungry and another one is drunk. Uh -huh. What do you not what do what do you not have houses to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. Like if you don't have a revelation why you're going to partake don't say like ah, I want I'm hungry, I want to Paul was saying don't you have food at home? You have food at home, so don't feel like you have to eat. Uh -huh, continue. That's the game. 
For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, took what? Bread. Bread. Uh-huh. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take it. This is my what? My body, which is broken for you. Broken for you. You see like this one. I guess. I guess. It's broken. That's the body. You're breaking it. You should be believing what is breaking in your life. There are certain things that you should break also. If it's rejection, you're I'll break rejection. Yes. 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 I break failures. I break afflictions of sicknesses. Before you eat it. That he broke is which was, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance. So we are being what's called remembrance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the same man, I also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know the new covenant? Being baptized in the Holy Ghost. Be filled the Holy Spirit. Is a new covenant. And that is found in the, in the, in the blood. There's, that's a new lifestyle. Why is a covenant associated with the blood? Not with the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people you find them they are six natural because me don't know. Maybe my church or rip and I'm your main name, you know she don't know. Migarati. Me put on a migarati. In the blood. We have people who are terrible drunkards. Because what? Jebuna be what you have to show karma near both. Because it is in the blood. I'm your meat or chicken, karate. So the blood, karate, caris number covenant, daganet. That stimulates an activity in the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So whenever you protect the blood, you need to believe that there is if there is in a contaminated blood system from your clan. That is pursuing you. Believe that as you protect the blood of Jesus. There is a new covenant that is going to be done upon you. Amen. Amen. Why did Jesus do to share the blood? Why could he not spit on the saliva? Why did he not spit on the saliva? And he said that is it for all. Amen. 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 So to overcome a sickness that is in the blood, you need the blood of Jesus. In the human life, human life, the moment your blood becomes less in your body, you develop what is called anemia. And when anemia attacks you, it is very easy to die. So you also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, a new covenant. So you have to partake of the new covenant. The new lifestyle supports Jesus. This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This too. As often as you drink it, which means don't drink only once. As often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Amen. 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 You are believing in the promises of the Lord. There are some of us who suddenly believe. You believe that. Ah, in our family, for us we shall not settle. For us it is this. For us, we shall not settle. For us, it is this. 